Well, so guys, it's the top 10 transfers of the week, and this week is a really good week for transfers, and I thought I'd maybe try and do a different kind of card style, but I haven't actually done it this week, but maybe the next week we can try and do a little bit of a different design. I think that'd be a nice thing for the series because I'm really enjoying doing this kind of series as I did that, the uh, FIFA 15 potential series as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. So at number 10 is Ryan Gold. I'm not quite sure if he will be a 70 rated card next year. I think I've upgraded him a little bit too much, but uh, I think he is a really Really good player he's got a lot of potential and uh, only 18 at the moment so a very very young player and he's uh, gone for three million pounds to sport in Lisbon so hopefully he gets some good game time there next up we do have Emre Can he's gone from Bayer Leverkusen to Liverpool for 10 million pounds and I'm not quite sure what rating he should be. He didn't play that many games. I think he only played about 25. But he is only 20 years old. So whatever rating he will be, he will definitely develop in the years to come. So a really good card for career mode next season. Next up, we do have Aaron Cresswell. A player that I really rated last year in the championship. He seems to do a lot for Ipswich. And he's only gone for about 2 million. So I'd say that's a really good bargain for West Ham. Especially when he is quite young. I think he's about 24 years old. So he's got a lot of years under his belt. And he's got some very good rounded stats on his card. And I think the upgrade is pretty fair. Next up we do have Tom Ince, he's gone from uh, Blackpool to Hull, technically he hasn't, he was a free agent but because he's under 23 they have to give him some kind of compensation to Blackpool so I'm not quite sure if he should be downgraded, he didn't play too many games last season, I think he only played about 20 but um, I don't know, I've, I've upgraded his pace and his dribbling and his passing but pretty much kept the same car because I don't think he should really change. Next up we do have Seam De Jong, I'm not quite sure if I pronounce his uh, first name correctly but He's going to be a really cool card in the Premier League next season. He's got some really nice rounded stats on his card. A really good centre mid card, obviously with the high heading and high uh, shot. He will probably be a centre attack in mid, but uh, you never know. He might be a centre mid at the same time. 65 defending isn't bad at all. Next up, we do have Eric Abidal, a really old player now. He's about 34, I believe, maybe 35. Could even be 36. I'm not quite sure. I'm just throwing numbers out. And I think he should be downgraded because... The Greek League isn't the most uh, popular and they tend to not be that high rated. So I think a 76 rated card for Abby Dell will be really good. Next up we do have Adam Lalana, probably my favourite one of this episode because I really do late, uh, rate Lalana And I really ho do hope um, they play him quite a lot at Liverpool. I think he does deserve the game time. He's got some fantastic stats on his card. Basically I've given him his first important card this season. So I think that's a fair rating for Lalana, an 81 rated card. Next up, we do have Kaká. He's gone from AC Milan to Orlando City to Sao Paulo on loan. So, um, I'm not quite sure if he should be downgraded a bit more. 81 is pretty decent, but I've upgraded his pace because on his World Cup card, he's got 76 pace, but I've basically gone in the middle and gone for 73 and basically downgraded the rest because it's pretty much what his World Cup card was, and I think that'll be a fair rating for Kaká. Next up, we do have Diego Costa, number two this week, and he's gone from Atletico Madrid to Chelsea for 32 million, and I think he should be an 85 rated card. I think that's a fair rating for him. He didn't have the best of World Cups, and generally, I don't think an 85 card will be unrealistic for him, so I think it'll be a fair rating for Diego Costa. And the final player this week is Ashley Cole. He's gone from Chelsea to Roma on a free, and I think that's a really good transfer for him. Hopefully, Roma do give him the game time. I think uh, Balzaretti's getting on a bit. They've got really old... Uh, uh, left backs they've got Balzaretti and Cole I don't know if Balzaretti is on his way out or something or retiring but um, hopefully EA do transfer him over to Roma pretty darn soon so we can add him to the Road to Roma checklist that'd be really cool for the series so yeah if you enjoyed this episode of the top 10 transfers of the week it would be fantastic if you could leave some of your opinions down in the comment section whether I did rate these players correctly or not some of them are a little bit too overrated I think uh, Ryan Gold maybe a little bit too much uh, maybe Emery can but generally I think they're a pretty good rating so yeah smash the like button subscribe if you're on your channel and see you soon bye